Ruben, I've got to ask you first about the cover drive celebration at the weekend. Yeah. Um, what brought that about? It was an off drive, actually. <laughs> it was an off drive, was yeah, it? Yeah, but um, no, we've got a few cricket fans here and um, the lads every morning, I think it's more important the cricket session we do than the actual training session, the actual football session. So, um, yeah, it was just a little bit of fun, really, where, as I said, we've got a few cricket lovers and uh, got Alfie to bowl to me and, um, yeah, hit him for four. And let's be fair, you have quite a, a background because I think you were uh, you played cricket at Millfield, lost your seconds, I think? Yeah, I mean, obviously, as for as long as I can remember, as a four or five-year-old, growing up, I was playing cricket. Um, obviously, progressed quite quite well and ended up playing at a good level, good standard. And um, before my professional football career started, um, I was looking to embark on a professional cricket career. So, you know, you never know what might have happened, I suppose, yeah. Just bring us back to Saturday. Ryan Broom's cross invited you to attack it, didn't it? It was a really good ball. Yeah, obviously, um, with the history of the week before, you know, um, the minute the ball went out to Broomy there, um, I knew he was capable of putting a good ball in, as he does. That's his quality. Like he's got that ability and that quality to do that. And I, I just sort of made the box, you know, and thankfully the ball was there to attack again, as it was the week before. And um, yeah, obviously, it was a nice feeling to. Uh, for that to go in. So you've played, I think, about two hours football since you've come back into the side. You scored three goals in that time. Mm. In the time you were out, how did you keep your your confidence up that you could come straight back in and do it? Because if you're not in the side, you haven't got that that regular match sharpness. Well, it's not easy. Um, but one thing I will say is that I've been going over and beyond what what I've ever done before, and um, away from. The sessions I do here, which have been tough, I also go and train on my own in the evenings. It's not good for my home life, my family life, because I'm never there, but it's something I've had to do because I know in football that you can get thrown in at any given opportunity or and you need to be ready. And there's been times in my career before when I've not been involved and all of a sudden you're involved and I've been nowhere near it to affect the game. And in this current time, in this team, in this squad, You'd be really letting down the boys if that was that was to be the case, and I don't want to be that person who, who sort of you know you've been given minutes on the pitch and you can't, you're nowhere near the standard or physical standard that needed to be to play in this particular team. So, mm -hmm. so you so you look after the physical. How do you look after the mental? Ah, uh, don't know if I have really. No, obviously the release is getting on the pitch. You know, um, but yeah, I can't sit and say to you, has it been hard? Of course, it's been tough. Um. But you know the release is getting on the even getting on the training pitch and moving moving well. You know, um, at the start coming back, that was just a bonus. You know, and then obviously it's a, for me it's a progression. Then it was, am I able to you know maybe play a reserve game? That was another bonus. Um, so I'm just taking little steps on where we where it's, how it's panned out and where I've come from. Just a little bit, you know, being involved, coming off the bench. I start here or there, and then the goals are just you know can make it a lot easier for you. Mental. Mm -hmm. Speaking from a mental point of view, yeah. I'm right, thinking that you played under Keith Curl at Torquay. Mm, yeah, many moons ago. Yeah, I had come in. They were Torquay were a struggling team, um, facing relegation, and we made some signings. Um, and yeah, I went and I had a good, good, um, good. Was it about a couple months under Keith? And yeah, it was um, it was enjoyable. Another. Good learning curve for my career. Yeah, is he demanding as a manager? I mean, will, will he be demanding a lot of the Northampton boys that you come up against here? Yeah, I mean, he has his style and his way of football. Um, that wasn't too apparent back then when I was playing under him. But I think as his obviously his managerial career has progressed and um, gone on, obviously his teams have a have a very set way of of playing, and it's apparent. You know that. It's a Keith Curl team when you go and play him, and obviously he's been a successful manager, you know. Um, so yeah, I believe he will be demanding a lot from his boys, of course. In a way, you've come back to fitness at quite an exciting time, haven't you? You've got a quarter of the season to go. Uh, you know, you've, come off the, you've been part of three wins. You've scored goals in all those three games, and the, the, there's, a, there's a big carrot dangling out, out there. Yeah, I mean, as I said before, that um, for me now it's just can I play a part. But in the season, you know, and we're not looking too far ahead, and not obviously not looking back either. It's just for the moment now. What what can I obviously offer the team, and how can I affect it in any way possible? Um, but yeah, I'd like to think that there's still enough games for me to play a key role, and I do believe that I'll be able to do that. Um, 
So hopefully the way it's going at the moment is obviously nice, you know, um, and long may that continue for me.